Hey YouTube, um, do a tutorial on a, uh, so this is a Mercury 8 horsepower 4 stroke. This is a 2017 model um, and it is not pumping water. The uh, motor's in pretty good shape. I picked it up for 750 bucks, so I mean, not too much to complain about. Um, so to get started, you're gonna have this stopper right here. I already did it, but you just loosen it with a Phillips head and you're gonna have this small one right on the bottom covering up these threads. Go ahead and loosen that one. Just go ahead and take it off and put it somewhere where you won't lose it. Um, and then you're gonna have uh, these lock nuts right here. Just keep a, take a good note um, of what it looks like before you take it off. Uh, these should be eight millimeters. Uh, let me go grab a wrench and I'll verify. All right, so eight millimeter was pretty close. It's probably something standard. But uh, before you disconnect this, go ahead and make sure your unit's in neutral, which it is. This one has it on the tiller handle, and then you're gonna you're gonna break loose this bottom one. This is just a stop nut, so you're gonna disconnect that. Just go ahead and unscrew it all the way, and you'll see right there it disconnected. So now your shift shaft is disconnected from the lower unit, and um, the only thing left to do to get this lower unit off is there's four 10 millimeters. Uh, two on each side, so go ahead and undo those. All right, so I got all the bolts out and the unit already started falling out for me. Um, but it, once you get those four bolts out, they should just pop right out of here. You might actually um, have to undo this, uh, lock this nut, so let me take that off real quick. All right, the lower unit is off. I put that, um, that nut, I just put it back on the motor so um, it doesn't get lost. And you're gonna have, here's the impeller housing, you're gonna have four bolts, uh, it should be 10 millimeters. So let's go ahead and take those off. All right, so once those bolts are in need, just go ahead and slide the impeller housing up. Um, be careful not to break it, it's just plastic, and try to save your gaskets if you can help it. And then your impeller should just slide right off. I'm not gonna take mine off, I just wanted to inspect it and see how it looked. Uh, mine's a little dinged up there. I might order a new one for it. But I just wanted to see what the condition of it was. Uh, it's not too, too bad. Um, but there is a keyway in there, so you'll have to watch the keyway whenever you put your new one on. And then um, to reinstall it, you just slide it back on there and push it down on the housing while turning the shaft uh, clockwise. I believe it's clockwise for this one. And um, just push it down until it's flush like it was before. All right, so I got the impeller housing and the impeller put back on. So I just twisted that and it slid right into the housing and you just put your 10 or your four 10 millimeter bolts back in and just uh, snug them down by hand. I wouldn't use an impact on it because this is just plastic and it's just threading into aluminum. But um, let's go ahead and take it back over to the motor and we'll slide it back in and you'll have to make sure these grooves line up at the end of the motor and make sure your shift shaft goes in the proper spot. So let's go ahead and go do that. All right, so I got the four bolts back and there is a torque sequence one and then here's four and then two and three are on the other side so just follow that they don't have to i mean snug them down pretty good but not over tighten them like i said they're just going into aluminum and then here i just threaded the shaft back on just like uh, before and then whenever you're doing that whenever you get that on there and get it snug you want to come up here and make sure you're in um neutral and just see how much slop is in there you want it to be kind of in the middle and you can spin the prop too and make sure it's actually in neutral whenever the shifter says it's in neutral Otherwise, your gears um, it won't go into. It won't feel like it's going into gear right, or you might might have more slop one way or another. Um, but that, that's all you have to do. Adjust that. Uh, now, I'll just go ahead and slide these back down and tighten that one up, and then I'll put the small one on the bottom, and we'll get it cranked up. All right, we got our water on. So let's put it on a run. I recommend going ahead and 